the things that I notice with daughters is they have a really hard time accepting themselves when it comes to the healing journey, which makes total sense if you grew up with a narcissistic mother. Essentially, they have a hard time with emotional dysregulation because they vacillate from feeling good, from feeling bad, from feeling angry, from feeling hateful, from feeling rage, from feeling like, oh, I love my mom. She did all these things for me. And what they tend to do is they resort to self-blame. I shouldn't be feeling this way. Like, I shouldn't love my mom after all the things that she did to me. I shouldn't have these feelings of love, this emotion of love. I shouldn't be feeling hateful towards her and angry towards her because then that, that just makes me like her. Or like hate is such a strong word. I don't want to use hate. You know, all these emotions and feelings of vulnerability and rawness that come up when you start to heal. And it's really challenging to deal with because many daughters don't have tools to help them when it comes to this. And they have a hard time accepting themselves in their healing journey. The healing journey is going to be triggering. It's going to be dysregulating. It's going to push you to your limits. So that's something that if you are healing from a narcissistic mother, you need to understand it's not going to be a walk in a park. There are going to be so many intense emotions that come up. You're going to feel vulnerable. You're going to feel raw. 